Okay, so we're, we're going to continue our, our theme of, of data this time, and we're going to look a little more closely at how you can uh, how you can manage the the data lifecycle. We've got uh, Leslie Graham, uh, who's a managing consultant uh, at Servium, and uh, and Leslie is going to talk to us about the ELT approach. Uh, welcome, Leslie. Uh, you're on, you're on mute right now. Okay, I was just okay. testing you. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Okay. Yeah. Can you just um, share share your slides, and we'll make sure that they they're in uh, full screen so that uh, we we can all see. Okay. That's that's great. All right. I will I will get out of your way now and leave you. To awesome. Thank you very much, John. Um, good af uh, Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Depending on where you are. Um, my name is Leslie Graham, and I'm a, a managing consultant at Servian. Um, and today we're going to be talking about uh, a subject that's very close to my heart, um, the ETL. Uh, but we're using it as the ELT approach. Um, and we'll be using, we're talking about using pre-built reusable APIs to connect disparate, disparate data sources. Bear with me. Okay, so just at a high level, these are the things that I'm going to cover today. Um, obviously, the the talk is about uh, reusable APIs, so the majority of the co the discussion will be about that. Um, but we'll cover the whole life cycle um, and all the players involved. Um, so key players, we've got Koala. Sorry, I'll be doing a case study um, of, a co of a client that I'm currently working at. Um, for, so key, key players, we've got our customer who is Koala. I'll talk more about them later. Um, and Servian, which is the company I work for, um, and we're the implement implementation partner. Um, the technologies we'll be talking about today will be uh, term known as the modern stack, the modern data stack. Um, so we've got the ingestion pipeline, which is Fivetram. And we've got the destination, which is the Snowflake uh, data warehouse. Transformation um, is a tool called DBT. And we've got the business intelligent visualization tool, Tableau. Um, hopefully, some of you will have heard of most of or all of these. So first of all, we'll have a little uh, introduction to um, our customer. So um, Koala is uh, an Australian-born um, e-commerce uh, retailer. Um, it started off as a mattress retailer, um, but has branched out into uh, other furniture products for, over the last couple of years. Um, it was established in 2015, and it has grown very quickly, very fast. Um, as you can see here, the, the, we make data for the data. Sorry, we make furniture for the digital age. Um, what they established a wee while ago was that, um, like any successful startup, um, they've they're starting to encounter the usual data-related challenges, um, which are born of rapid growth and the essential need to just get stuff done um, without any guidance of an overarching, overarching um, data strategy. So what the Koala leadership team did was that they um, they knew they had to do something about it to be able to succeed going forward and to continue succeed going forward. Um, so they partnered with Servian, um, me and uh, my team, um, to define their data strategy and then implement a solution. Um, a little bit about Servian. Um, we are a uh, one of the largest data consultancies in Australia. Um, we were established in 2008 um, in Sydney, um, and uh, we now have multiple offices uh, across Australia um, and a couple of offices in New Zealand. And we've recently um, opened up an office in Singapore as well, which is very exciting. Um, it's early days for the Singapore office, but we're getting there. Um, we are about 600 plus consultants at the moment. Um, and we have recently become part of the Cognizance group. So that just adds more tools to our belt. Um, what we do is um, essentially everything to do with data. Um, we uh, work across 
six different pillars. So we've got AI, artificial intelligence, we've got cloud, lots of cloud migrations, obviously, at the moment. Customer engagement, where we um, work on, you know, make, helping our customers uh, give their customers um, the best experience possible. Cyber security, forefront of everybody's mind when it comes to data in the cloud. Um, data analytics, which is essentially the pillar I work mostly in. Um, I work in the data analytics and the cloud pillars um, and the digital pillar as well. Um, across those six pillars, we, we kind of approach it from three different angles um, that all complement each other. We've got an advisory piece, which is usually when we go into the client, do a bit of advisory and figure out what they need from us. Um, consulting is usually the implementation and then managed services is for people who don't want to look after their own uh, infrastructure. We can, we can do that for them. Um, one of the things that kind of differentiates us from a lot of the other data site, uh, data consultancies is that we're very highly principled. Um, we have, we're very um, proud of our principles um, and we live by them. Integrity, collaboration, accountability, respect, and excellence. So one of the thing that we're going to be talking about today is um, the ingestion of data into a data warehouse. That's essentially what it is. Um, we're going to be talking about um, these are some of Koala's uh, sources. And um, this is the experience that we're, we're going through at the moment. This is the case study. Um, just to clarify that the image on the right isn't the logos in that image aren't specific to Klaia, that to Koala, they're just a general e-commerce retailer. Um, but the, the sources on the left are Koala's current, re, uh, current sources that we're starting off with, with the data warehouse. And then obviously there'll be more to come as time goes on. So it's a bit of a mix mash of um, sources as most companies have. Um, we've got some marketing um, sources, uh, a finance source, some customer feedback sources. Um, and just kind of advertising and everything. So pretty standard for um, an e-commerce e company. Um, we'll be going through the kind of modern data stack. This was um, what, um, sorry, I missed a slide. Um, sorry, the vision. Apologies for that. Um, so this is the journey we've been through so far. Um, Koala had a vision, and then uh, it was to deliver greater value through better utilization of data and analytics, um, which would hopefully be resulting in customer focus and um, a, a culture within the company that embraces and acts on data. Um, the challenge they had with that was that um, pretty much the same as most companies, um, the, the challenges with data are pretty standard across the board, but they kind of narrowed it down to there was no single trusted view um, of the complete customer journey. Finance data was kind of trapped and, and, and you couldn't um, analyze it with any other sources. Um, data models and business logic were embedded in, in, in a separate tool, so it was very hard to unify that. Um, there was multiple incomplete and immature data stores. Um, data was coming from a lot of different places, but it wasn't all being um, integrated into the same place and um, treated in the same way. Um, there was a couple of um, redundant and under underutilized uh, technologies which um, needed to get dealt with. Um, and they were kind of lacking um, reference data definition and standards across the board. So there was a lot of data there, um, but it was very hard to um, provide a unified look at the company on the whole. So the solution was, the solution is, um, to implement a new, a new data platform um, using the modern data stack, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and this will scale with the business as it continues to grow. Um, the main aim is to consolidate um, desperate sources um, and business logic into one place so that to allow confident, intelligent reporting and um, the analysis of Koala's business data. So pretty standard, but really, really, really important um, vision and solution to remain current in the current day. 
So this is the one we've just talked about. Um, these are the data sources. Um, I don't need to go through that again. And then we have the modern data stack. So I've been working in data for many, many years. Um, and life is getting easier and easier as technology improves. Um, pretty standard. Uh, we there's, there's been lots of changes and things since, since I started getting involved in data warehouses and databases. Um, but the, the technologies that are currently um, in the market are really exciting. Um, they all integrate really well together. And one of the things that they've kind of, they differ from um, other um, improvements in um, advances in technology is that all of these kind of modern data stack, they, they, they don't try and do everything. They don't try and be everything to everyone. What they try and do is they, they, they have one purpose and, and they do that really, really well. So the modern, the modern data stack is, is built up of lots of individual tools, um, which at first seems a bit daunting, but it actually works really, really well because they integrate very well together. Um, so on the left-hand side, this is kind of like your, your, your data warehousing. On the left-hand side, we've got the source layer, um, and that's where all the, independent, uh, all the individual sources come in. You've got data from transactional databases, um, from cloud applications, file storages, events, and custom code um, cloud functions. Um, and, and they're pretty standard for any kind of e-commerce company. Um, at the moment, we are dealing at Koala, we're dealing with um, cloud applications, file storage, um, and custom cloud, uh, custom code cloud uh, functions. Um, but you know, in the future, hopefully, we'll, we'll, we'll be getting event information as well. Um, in the ingest, so that's what um, the tool that, sorry, the, the, the warehouse that we're using is Snowflake. Um, it is relatively new. I mean, it's been around for a while, but it is relatively new. It was designed and built on the cloud. Um, and that's where all the data will be stored and, and, and the compute will be there as well. We're using Fivetran uh, to ingest the data from the individual sources um, and put it into Snowflake and then using DBT um, to transform the data um, and get it into a usable form for the reporting. Um, and Tableau is the chosen BI tool. And we'll go into each of those um, in various levels of detail in, um, as we get to them. So let's start with Fivetran. Um, Fivetran is, um, it, it, it's relatively new in Australia. Um, it's, it's kind of come across to Australia and it's grown very big very quickly. Um, and it's, it's taking off because it is so um, good at what it does. Um, it's basically a, a fully managed data pipeline as a service um, with no ongoing maintenance, configuration, or coding. Um, it has about 175 plus native connectors. Um, it's created predefined -de schemas. Um, there's in some of the sources, there's literally a five minute setup um, and there's 24 hour support. Um, what we have noticed in, in, in the kind of last year or so of using Fivetran is that it is one of the simplest tools um, that you'll ever use, which is incredible, um, especially as it actually does um, what it's supposed to do as well. Um, so what we did um, at, at the current client was that we took all these um, independent sources um, and we used Fivetran to ingest them into, into Snowflake. We have taken um, each of the different sources has a different um, connect, Fivetran connector um, and the connector basically um, relies on the source to determine what you need to, to, to actually get the data out. We've got multiple um, of the top ones, you, we see we've kind of put it into groups out there. We've got um, multiple that are just a login. So like for Facebook ad, if you've got a face, sorry, if the company has a Facebook account, they just log in with their, you know, their Facebook details, connect the Fivetran and we're ready to go. 10 minutes set up um, at most. Um, then we've got a couple of other ones, still 10 minutes kind of set up, but they um, require an, an API key to be created in the source. Um, Google Sheets, 
easy as less than 10 minutes you just give google sheets the permission i uh, sorry if i've tried the permission to access the google sheet um next week which is the um finance application it's it's not the most easy of sources to get the data out of um and so it takes a little bit longer with that but um absolutely one hour um it took us uh, which is hardly anything in the scheme of things um and then for a few sources down at the bottom there we had to kind of custom uh, customize some apis and we used um aws lambda again 10 minutes to set up the um the the five trans side of it a little bit longer to um create the customs apis um but all in all um not too much time at all and then once all your uh, once all the fivetran connections were set up um we did a historic link a host, sorry a historic sync of of all the data sources um as you can see there i've just kind of hi highlighted the ones that only took minutes to do historic uh, sort uh, historic uh, data syncs um, and most of them you know there, there was four or five that took minutes some took hours um, and Zendesk um, and uh, one of the other sources took uh, days Zendesk did take the longest but it took because of the volume of data but it still it took seven days which in the scheme of things is not a long time. That is essentially from connecting to the source to having data available, uh, semi-modeled data available in your warehouse that you can actually start um, querying and analyzing. It's really, it's really, really very short period of time considering how long it used to take us to get data into a warehouse. Um, with the if we, if we hadn't used Fivetran and we'd had to kind of set up customized APIs um, and, and OBD connections and that type of thing, OBDC connections, um, it would have taken us literally months to get to where we are now. We, um, we would have, yeah, months just to get to the data into um, the warehouse, and then we would have had to like model it and all of that type of stuff. And as we all know that to model the data, um, you've actually got to know your data and understand your data before you can actually put it into an efficient uh, model and, and, and integrate the sources together. Sorry, keeps jumping. Um, so Fivetan is essentially an ingestion tool, and, and it does that very, very, very well um, with its customized APIs. But it's not only a, a it's not only an API tool. It's not just only a, an ingestion tool. Um, what it actually does as well is, is Fivetan have spent a lot of time with their sources, um, it, examining their sources and and talking to their sources, source owners, and and uh, they understand the data. So as they extract the data to put it into the warehouse, um, the data comes semi-modeled. Um, it's it's already ready to go. It's got readable columns. The data is semi um, structured. Sorry semi-standardized uh, um, heading titles everything is is kind of very very readable it's not 100 percent, and you definitely will need to put a little bit of effort on top of that but as a start it's absolutely amazing um, they've got excellent customer support really good logging um, the documentation is very comprehensive um, and the documentation comes with entity relationship diagrams which if life was simple, an entity relation, narration, an ERD looks like this, doesn't really take that much effort to put together. You still need to understand the data. Um, unfortunately, life is not that simple, and some ERDs look like this. Um, this comes with Fivetran. Fivetran have thought about it. They've put it all together, so you don't need to do that. Um, same with the next week one. Next week's got something like 700 tables, um, and they obviously haven't put all 700 in the ERD, but they've given you a really good start. So anybody using NetSuite and ingesting it into a warehouse, these are kind of the main tables that you would start with. Um, five tram was probably the thing we were gonna talk mostly about today because it is the, um, it is the tool that does the reusable automatic um, API calls. Um, and it would, I just wanna quickly Kind of say that you know dbt is in there as well and um it's it 
DBT and Fivetran are working very closely together. They've partnered up, so they work as a tool. They work really, really well together. And DBT has some custom-made packages um, designed to pick up um, certain data sources that Fivetran is bringing in um, so that you don't need to analyze the data either. And Fivetran automatic, uh, sorry, DBT automatically does that. But DBT is essentially a framework for, develop, for developing transformation. In the diagram that you can see, you've got like five tran five tran over the side, and it does the data loaders into the raw database, uh, the raw uh, section of the data warehouse, and then five tran does all the kind of historicization, um, testing, deployments, documentation, um, and and kind of gets you to the point where your data is transformed um, to be picked up either by you know data scientists or uh, BI tools. So one of the best things, one of the good things about five uh, DTB is over and above its actual tool functions, um, it automatically generates data lineage and documentation, which is, uh, again, immensely um, time-saving. Um, and then oops, just quickly, sorry, going back to the kind of case studies, now you know the tools. Going back to the case studies, what we've got is um, the key achievement to date um, we've got mission critical dashboards that um, are used daily. We've got uh, three major ones that are used, uh, sorry, are updated daily. And then we've got a couple that are updated hourly. So the, the, the customer is getting hourly information on, on, on their sales. Um, Next Suite and Shopify data is um, integrated together for the first time, um, which is uh, saving the finance team a massive amount of time. Um, sorry, and yeah, we've got all the data in one place so that it can be integrated, uh, ma maintained and governed. Um, and the individual tools have got their own native logging um, and notification, notification processes. So again, saves you on development time. The key takeaways are that we, um, Servian and Koala worked well together to kind of understand the business and, and pain points so that we could uh, design and implement a um, platform to meet their current and future needs. Um, five try and connect uh, in a very short time, an incredible amount of time, incredible amount of financial data was made available in Snowflake for analysis, um, which is very hard to do and very time consuming. Um, and the main takeaway is that the chosen data stack of Fivetran, Snowflake, DTB, and Tableau is a winning combination. And that ends, that ends the presentation. Um, I hope that was of value, um, and um, I'm open to questions. Thanks very much, Leslie. Um, I, I guess the, the key thing that I noticed from, from this is that when I'd been thinking about APIs and, and data, I was thinking about APIs are more or less that, that last stage of delivering data to the people who are going to consume it. But what you've shown here is uh, with different elements of the stack is very componentized and all of those um, need to integrate. Um, Fivetran is a component there for, um, with the, the connectors for connecting data sources, but the other components of the stack uh, also need to integrate with with each other, and um, I'm curious as to the um, how how API driven the that integration is between uh, between the other components of the stack. Um, so the, the API call the, sorry, it's Fivetran is is the one that uses all the API calls. Mm -hmm. um, just to get to, to extract the data out of source and to put it into right. the warehouse. Once mm -hmm. it's in the warehouse, um, it's DTB, DBT, sorry, um, mm -hmm. is an API driven. Um, it, it just uses SQL to, to and some. Um, okay, so so the sorts of tools that people are, the data, data scientists, data, data literate people are familiar with then. Yeah, so the, the, the thing about um, DBT is that it does use SQL, which is the, you know, the most common mm -hmm. um, language and everybody, even if you don't know, it's easy to learn. Um, and that's what makes it simple. It's simple and usable, but really effective at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I guess with a, 
um, lots of data sources and uh, the lots of places where data is stored. It's uh, it's very important to understand um, what data is available, how to connect to it, how um, what the quality of it uh, is is data lineage as as, as you mentioned uh, earlier, and uh, where we're going to hear a little, little later on about um, what what sort of data uh, people should should gather. Um, but um, but that's a, a very useful sort of um, picture of uh, the, the the data life cycle and uh, and how how you can draw um, data into your organization um, where where different business users can use it, not just the users of the original applications that have the data. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks. And and one of the things um, about the the tool set that we've got now, you know, the the modern data set that I've just gone through, uh, data stack, is that um, a lot of time before, um, as a as as a data warehouse person and data migration person, you you spent a lot of time trying to get access to the source data um, in any shape or form, just so you could look at it and understand it, um, so that you would figure out what of that data you wanted to bring across and, and how you would model it when it came across, um, into the data warehouse. Um, and all of that pain's taken away. Um, Fivetran have, have, have done all that hard work for you. Um, and DBT have done, you know, some of the hard work of, of, you know, we've got multiple different sources with different, um, data in them, but, you know, mm all need to be integrated and transformed in some way to make it available uh, in the right form for reporting. Um, and DBT makes that very easy as well. Mm, so okay. well, almost putting us out of a job. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks very much, Leslie. There, there were a couple of very detailed technical questions in the chat, but uh, Shane Harris Tunks uh, from Fivetran has uh, has handled them quite well. So, Excellent. Uh, I'll, so I'll pay him later for doing that for me. He's lightened your load. So thank, thank, goodness. thank you very much, Leslie. All right, thank you very much for having me.